Seems so much cardboard in one place. Well, in the city need a bubble wrap. Oh my god. What? She's nesting. Nesting? Knocked up, but in the oven. I know what that what it in means. In the family way. Okay, thank you. How do you get babies from bubble wrap? I'm telepathic. Or psychopathic. Well, something's up. Or blew up. Just look at this place. No, they're not. Whoa. Hey girl. Hey, hey Jean, what you got there? Oh, I was just thinking about how many pieces of toast I've made in this toaster oven. Oh, every morning for five years. It's a lot of toast. Yeah, and all that time, I've never thought about the toaster oven. You know, it was made somewhere. China. And one day, mom thought about me and how I might want to toast something. And so she went to the store and she picked out this one. Not the one next to it, or at a different store, but this one. And she bought it, and here it is. In your living room. It's just amazing how, how things and, and people come into our lives. Yeah. And I never think about those things. How lucky I am. I never spend time smelling the roses. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. So what's up? Good question. Better question, where are your wine glasses? Under the sink. I moved them while I was cleaning. Right. I found them. Okay. Now, we know who you are. But... Are you drinking? Yeah. Are you sure? It's after 10 a.m. Why wouldn't I be? Just checking. <laughs> She's off her nuts! And the rag. She's waxing poetic about appliances. And she looks nearly homeless. Nesting. I hope not. A little toasty in here. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Cheers. <laughs> what is that? Oh, uh, right. Are you crafting um, me in? Is that what this is? You only craft when you're upset. What's going on? Well, I'm not upset. I'm, uh, I'm engaged. <laughs> The produce aisle? What? I don't get it. No. No, like betrothed. With a twist tie? Yeah. I was right. You're pregnant. No, I'm not. You're, there's a ring on it. I have. She's nesting. Nesting? I'm on to you. What does that mean? Well, it's a mess. Well, don't judge me. I couldn't find your couch. At least I have a couch. What, and what are you wearing? Oh, Jesus. I'm packing. And I'm Oprah. You wish. Wait. You're moving. Well, yeah. Your lease is up? Is that what this is? No, that's not what this is. What's going on with you? I just told you I'm getting married. To who? Whom? Mark. We haven't even met him. Well, he's <laughs> supposed to come to You've known him like five then. minutes. Three weeks. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Why? Why? It's time. For what? 
Grow up. Right now? Yeah. I need a purpose. A family. A home. Do you love him? I could. Yeah? Yeah. Are you sure you're not- What is wrong with you? Well, I'm just checking. But I'm not crazy. He- He's a really good guy and he loves me. I need to get my life together. I- I want to do something. I'm so sick of going to the same stupid job and coming home to cook for one. I mean, what's the point? Well, I get that. I've been doing the same thing for three years, and I'm still making coffee and copies. Then quit. I can't quit. I have to pay for my couchless apartment. Winning. Hey. Hi. <laughs> What's with the toaster oven? It's hard to explain. I know. What? Did, how did you also, do this? Also, where did she go? I don't know. She's just gone. We're never gonna see her again. She's gonna live in that kitchen. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. What? What you doing over there, Em? <laughs> just celebrating. A little excessive, don't you think? You know, cake is like a best friend. What? If I take advantage of it, it gives me a stomach. If I treat it like I'm supposed to, it's always good to me. And if I put in a little time and effort, it'll always be there for me. For a writer, your analogies are really bad. I can even put in mixed company with coffee oh, and ice cream. That's plenty. Okay. Uh, cake makes your ass dumpy. Mm -hmm. okay. I didn't think about the cellulite. Yeah. yeah. I don't give you a big butt. No, neither do I. Mm -mm. Jake is a terrible best friend. It molds if you leave it out. Yeah, it doesn't travel well. You can't make a scrapbook full of pictures of you and a cake. That's just sad. Me and cake at the Eiffel Tower. Me and cake. Christmas morning, 2006. Me at cake spot mitzvah. Lahaim. <laughs> Me and cake and toaster oven in Times Square. Ooh. Me and cake at toaster oven's 21st. Mm. Oh. Me and cake, me and toaster oven cheering on cake. Chicago Marathon 2008. Yeah, go Woo! cake, work off that dumpy ass. <laughs> oh. Me and cake save toaster oven from a freak cleaning incident. Ooh. Oh, me, cake, and the toaster oven in the hospital greeting oh. baby cupcake. Oh, 27 God, p.m. Six ounces, oh. ten sprinkles. Oh, I'm not with child, okay? Just don't count on this one to babysit. Wait, why would you say that? You can't even keep a goldfish alive. That was a one-time thing. How would I know where lightning would strike? Wait, why was the goldfish outside? <laughs> no, there wasn't a fishbowl in the driveway. Lightning was my friend's cat. Oh, oh. We were cat sitting and lightning struck. That was the end of Dear Cheeto. R.I.P. Cheeto. I put Cheeto in the bookcase when I left for work. But she forgot to fill lightning's food bowl. No self-control that cat. Would you trust a fish killer with a kid? Well, uh, cats don't eat babies. Thank you. But you also can't store a child in a bookcase while you're at work. Exactly. 
but how hard is it to fill a food bowl? I just forgot. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so sweetheart. <laughs> forgot to enroll you in kindergarten. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetheart. I forgot to get you your measles vaccine. Oh. Whatever. Who wants kids anyway? They're gross. <laughs> totally. Diapers and finger paint. Who wants that? Sorry. Don't be sorry. Just say what you want to say. I'm not saying anything. You think I'm nuts? I know. Go ahead. But please, just let it out now so that I don't have to deal with whatever passive-aggressive thing you're going to do later. I'm not passive-aggressive. No, Martha Stewart. Well, not today. Just say it. You think it's a bad idea. Okay, I think it's a bad idea. You know what else I think is a bad idea? Being an asshole. Just because I didn't cry tears of joy over your fucking twist tie? You can't even pretend to be happy I'm for me? I'm not not happy for you. If you want to hitch your wagon to a relative stranger, then go for it. Jesus. Come on, Betty Draper. You're living in the staple stock room. You know this is nuts. Fuck you. It's a physical manifestation of your inner turmoil. Why can't you just speak to me like a normal person? Because you're not acting like a normal person. Not oh, now. I'm sorry if I don't want to be a couchless loser for the rest of my life. Wow. Well, if, if you're gonna have your fucking brick wall up all the time, then that's all you're ever gonna be. You would have fun in suburbia, June Cleaver. Ugh, cat killer. Hoarder. Well, at least I have shit to hoard. And it was a goldfish. Jesus Christ. I don't want to. No. no, no, no. want an upset box. You have a box? Yeah, everyone has a box. Yeah, this one has like 400 in her living room. No, Fuck it's you. more imaginary than cardboard. Imaginary box? Yeah, like an amoeboid structure with amoeboid? a door. Amoeboid? Like amoeba! Word of the day. Oh, right. oh, my... my comfort box. Comfort zone? Okay. Maybe box isn't right. I'm confused. Group, maybe. Is it a group or a box? I don't know. Pick one. Box. Okay. It's like a toolbox of sorts, mm -hmm. but with people. Weird. Yeah, people you like for just for who they are. People you do anything for and they do anything for you. People you agree with fundamentally. Maybe not every detail, but that's what keeps things interesting. So it's a selective box. Yes. Do you ever kick people out? Mm. Rarely. How big is this box? As big as you want. This is complicated. You can have lunch with people outside of your box. Go, go to work. Be civil. But at the end of the day, you don't really like them. You're not in the box. I think I'm following. There are seven billion people in the world. And let's face it, most of them are obnoxious. You know, I need my group. My niche. My amoeba. My box. It's weird, but I like it. Me, cake, and toast oven in a box. Did you come up with that metaphor in the spot? Yes. Oh, and it was stressful. <laughs> and it made me hungry. There's cake outside. I'm watching my figure. I'm mm -hmm. not. Ty. Yeah. I don't think spice is good for the fetus. Oh my god, I'm literally never packing anything ever again. Maybe we should do bagels. Oh. Those are pretty bland. Oh yeah, if you could get a dozen, it comes with a twist tie. <laughs> 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 Sleep on any day.